The Detroit Red Wings record for the 2010 to 2011 regular season was 47, 25, and 10. So 47 wins, 25 losses, and 10 losses in overtime. Use the Hamilton method to determine the whole percentages of each category. So in determining the, or using the Hamilton method, the first thing we have to do is find all of the quotas. So to figure out all the quotas, we need to divide each number by the total number that we have. So we're going to add up all of the games that were played. So 47 plus 25 plus 10 is going to give us 82 games. So now we're going to figure out what percentage each category takes. So for the wins, 47 out of the 82 were wins. So 47 divided by 82 is about 0.573. So about 57% were wins. Losses take up 25 out of the 82. So dividing that, I'm getting about 0 0.305. And then losses in overtime is 10 out of 82. So about 0.122. Okay, so as percentages, just move the decimal two places to the right. So 57.3% for wins, 30.5% for losses, and 12.2% for losses in overtime. So the Hamilton method, the first thing happens is that we assign the lower quota to each group. So for the Hamilton method, we're going to do lower quota. So in other words, just round down. So for the losses, we're going to do 57%. For or wins, sorry. Losses are going to be 30%. And losses in overtime will be 12%. So if we add all of this together, we're going to get 99%. So we have 1% that's left over. So the way that we figure out who should get that is by assigning it to the group that has the most left over. So in other words, we're looking at the decimal portion. So wins had 0.3, losses had 0.5, losses in overtime had 0.2. So 0.5 had more left over. So we're going to give the losses one more percent because that one had the most. So altogether, the whole percentages, For the wins is going to be 57%. For the losses, we're going to give it the extra percent to make it 31%. And then for the losses in overtime, 12%. So all together now, we have 100%. So this is the method called the Hamilton method.